And it's unbelievable how many messages I get from coaches who end up going through this problem, right? Here's the problem. As you start growing your business, as you start gaining more traction in your area, more parents, more clients, more prospects, you start to get more, I would say, well-known in your area. As this starts happening, one of two things will happen. And I would say 99% of coaches do option one, 1% do option two. And 1%, as far as like financials go, always probably generate between three to five times more income than people who choose option one. So what does option one do? Well, as they grow their business, they take on one more client. Now they spend one more hour training. And what they don't realize is every hour they, they spend training one new client, that's one more hour taken away from your family. That's one more hour taken away from your kids. It's one more hour taken away from things that you enjoy doing in life. Now, when you're just starting your business, yeah, you need to take on clients. Like you should get your schedule filled. Like that should be something you do at the beginning. As time goes on, you need to operate in a different way because now you have more clients, which means you have more leverage, right? You should be able to pick and choose when you do have your sessions. You should have a set schedule. You should have set days off. You should have set vacation every quarter. These are things that should be happening, but I see too many times coaches get in the trap of, well, I wanna make more money, so I need to go train more kids. And I have my calculator here. And this is pretty basic math, but you can do this with me. Let's say over the course of one year, you, you're already kind of like capped out with time, but you're like, you know what? I'm going to grind it out. I'm going to try to take on more clients during this time. So let's say you take on five clients and, and you know, you really don't have time to do that but you do it anyways, because you want to make an extra $2,000 a month, right? So we take five clients and let's just say they each come once a week, right? So those clients come once a week. So that's five hours per week, right? Times four weeks out of the month. That's 20 hours of time, which is almost equivalent to one day per month. So now you're, you're spending an extra day per month training, right? Then we multiply that by 12 months. It, like, let's assume they in your, they're in your program for a long period of time, um, which I feel like should be pretty normal. If you have a good program, they should stick with you for a year. So 20 times 12 months, that's 240 hours of time, right? That's 240 hours of time. So when we look at that, that's going to be equivalent to 10 days out of the year that you are training. Now, I get hit up all the time from coaches that are like, Ben, I feel burned out. I feel like I need to take more time away. Well, I just showed you right there. That's 10 full days of extra work that you probably should not be doing that you are doing. And let's say, Every quarter you took three days off. Well, I just bought you back three days of time per quarter. Um, if you stop taking on clients just to make money, the better way to do this is anyone who's new in your program, we start getting them into group training, something that is already happening where you are not spending extra time, right? And I can give you two examples. These, these two examples are from coaches that I'm currently helping. And I can tell you how I currently run my business too. All right, so I'm gonna give you three examples here. So the first, uh, this guy is a basketball trainer. And he realized, I wanna spend as much time as I can with my family. Like, that's very important to him. I think anyone who has a family, it's probably, the most important thing is family time. How can I spend more time with my kids? How can I um, not come home late? 
and tired and, and anxious and like all the things that trainers go through, right? You know what I'm talking about. So he realized, well, I'm just going to train on one day out of the month or sorry, one day out of the week. And whoever's training with me, they're going to have to come on that day. That's exactly how he has his business set up. And I calculated last time I, I had spoke with him, he has 12 hours of sessions throughout the month, All right? He has three hours of training on Sunday afternoons. That happens once per week. And no one works with him on other days. So he has six days of spending time with his family. Of course, he's spending some of that time working on his business, growing that group or that, that, those group sessions that he has on Sundays. And he also has a team of coaches who are helping him. Now, you might not have a team of coaches who are helping you, but I want you to use this as an example. Like He's just funneling everything into one day. Now he has maximum time to spend with his family. That's a really great setup. Anybody can do that. But a lot of coaches, what we do is we let our clients dictate when we have our sessions. They'll text you the night before. Hey, can you train tomorrow? You're like, yeah, I can do that. And it's almost like you're a, a delivery boy for Papa John's when you do that. All right. You have to run your business like a business. And you should set it up in a, in a way where you can leverage your time. All right. That's one example. All right. Another coach that I help, he, what he does is he specializes and he's in baseball coaching. He specializes in one-on-one -on -one training, right? He's great at that. He charges a premium for one-on-one -on -one training. But what he's realized is, you know what? I don't need to have a million clients. I'm going to have eight clients that I'm going to work with. And that's it. And he has figured out if I have eight clients that I work with, then the ninth session is going to be a weekly clinic. And he'll have a ton of kids come to that weekly clinic. And that weekly clinic typically generates between I would say a thousand to two thousand dollars every time he runs that clinic. So if he has a good month of clinics, he's going to make probably around eight thousand dollars just for the clinics. That has nothing to do with the one-on-one -on -one training. All right. So you can see he th clearly thought about his time. He doesn't want to take on a million clients. He wants like eight committed clients for one-on-one -on -one training, and then he wants one session per week for clinics where, where people that can't afford his one-on-one -on -one training, they're going to come to it. Right. So again, you can see he's capping his time. He's, he's saying, I want to devote more time to my family. I do not want to devote more time to training. Right. And then I'll show you my example. My example is very simple. Right now I train kids on Wednesdays, it's Wednesday afternoons. Every player is in a group, right? They all come on Wednesdays. That's my day of training. If the weather's terrible, all right, I will move my sessions to Zoom. All right. There's a lot involved with my program though. All right. I I do a lot. There's obviously it's the kids and groups, but we have mental training. All right. We have quarterly testing. There's there's a lot of different components that are involved with the program, but they're all automated now. They're all streamlined. It's not me working more, right? If I brought on a new client today, I'm not working any harder. I'm working the same amount. I'm not going to be working more hours. And how does this relate to your business? Well, this, this should make you question, well, how do I have things set up right now? Do I have to work more every time I add a new client? Am I too stressed and too tired going to my sessions? Cause I already have too many clients. Like, that's where you have to really decide to run your business like a business, not like a hobby. And that is something that, you know, once I, I wrap my mind around that personally, I started to change how I do everything. Everything started to change because you start to value your time more. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, well, I want to 
have more leverage with my business. I want to be able to set things up better in groups to where you're not working as much, but you don't know how much to charge. You don't know what to include. You don't know how to get that scheduled. Uh, you don't know how to uh, get clients to commit to long periods of time for, for group training. Then reach out to me, all right? Best way to reach out to me is either send me a message on Instagram, all right? I check that at least twice a week. Um, or send me a message to my office number. And my office number is 210-960-5771. You can send me a message there. I will absolutely return your text and, and I'll, I'll set up a time to chat with you to see how I can help out. And this is what I'm doing this year. It's very simple. I'm setting up 10 to 15 minute phone calls with coaches. And this is a free phone call, right? All I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be asking you business related questions. How many clients are you working with? What are your biggest struggles right now? And I'm going to see how I can help you, right? That's it. I'm going to see how I can help you out. And I'm going to show you how I can help you. If you're someone I feel like I can help, right? Pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. So that's it for today's message. You should not be the one who's the hardest worker in the room. Absol like, absolutely, you have to work hard, right? You have to work hard. But are you working too much in your business or are you starting to work more on your business? And do you have more free time, right? Do you have more freedom to spend more time with your wife or, or with your family? Like, to me, that, that's a, a very critical mistake. And it's a big problem that I see a lot of coaches and trainers they deal with because they don't have their business set up the way I'm talking about. They take on one client, now they spend mo one more hour. They take on another client, now they spend another hour. All right, so hopefully this helps and uh, see you soon.